Welcome to Computer Systems Servicing with Miss IC. Okay, hello everyone. So today we're going to discuss about how to compute and how to know how many ports and cables ang meron tayo for our ring, for our star, and also for our mesh topology. So let's start with this problem. So problem number one is we need to determine how many ports and cables we have sa network na to. Okay, so let's begin to identify what kind of network is this. Okay, so this one is a ring topology. Okay, so for ring topology, let's just assign letter N. Okay, letter N for the uh, number of nodes. So it means we have uh, six nodes here. So we have six computers. So therefore, we have six nodes. So let's just put that our N is equivalent to six. Okay, so next is we're going to find the number of cables. For the ring topologies, the number of cables is equal to the number of nodes. So let's just assign this one as the number of cables. So for the number of cables is equal to the number of nodes that you have. So therefore, for this problem, the number of cables is equal to six. Okay, and then next is we're going to find the number of ports per device. So let's just use the NOP for the number of ports per device. Okay, so for the number of ports per device, we have Two. For example, for this one, for this node one, we have ports for this and then here. So we have one, two. So again, we have um, two number of ports per device for our ring topologies. Again, this one on the left side and then another one. So right side that So let's just put it here. Okay, for our NOP or the number of ports per device, we have two. And then last is uh, we're going to find the total number of ports. So for the total of uh, number of ports, we have the formula. So our formula is N multiply by the number of ports per device. So to get that, so the no, and our N or yung number of nodes natin is six because we have six computers or six laptops or six nodes here. So we put six here and the number of ports per device is two. So we'll just substitute. Therefore, our total number of ports is Twelve. So our ports, twelve, and our cables. Okay, that's how we get the total number of ports and cables for our ring topology. Okay, for our example number two or exercise number two, we need to determine how many ports and cables we have for this topology. So first again is we need to identify what kind of topology is this. So this is a star topology. Okay, so for star topology, we all know that we have a central device here. 
Okay, so let's start to identify. Again, let's name the number of words na N. So we have here one, two, three, four, five. So therefore, we have five devices or five nodes for this topology. And then, same with the number of cables. For our number of cables, it's NC. So for, uh, for star topology, our number of cables is also equal to the number of our nodes. So it's also five. And then next is we're going to find the number of ports per device. So for this one, concerning topologies, we have two uh, ports per device because parting siya and then we have one dito sa right and one sa left. Pagdating natin sa star topology, we only have one. Ito lang siya. So only this one. So for the number of ports per device, we have one. Okay. Next is the total number of words. So total number of words, uh, we have this formula. Two multiply by n. So therefore, 2 and then we substitute 5. So therefore, our total number of words is 10. So, so nanggaling itong 2, remember we also have the central device. So therefore, we still need to count this for the device. So 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So therefore, our total number of words is equal to 10. We need to consider the word at the center. Okay, so this is our number of cables and our number of words. Okay, so for our last exercise, so we have here a six devices, mesh topologies. So we need to determine how many ports and cables we have. Okay, so first is let's uh, identify again, it's a mesh. It's a mesh topology and then we have six devices. One, two, Five and six. Okay, so let's assign again. Yung n natin ay yung ating number of nodes or number of workstations. So we have here six workstation. Okay, let's identify now how many ports. So for ports, para sa mesh topologies natin, para makuha natin yung uh, ating NOP or the number of ports, we have this formula. It's n minus 1. Okay. So, the n here is itong bilang ng nodes natin. Minus 1. So, therefore, we have 5 um, number of ports per devices. So, paano na natin nakuha yun? So, for example, let's give em uh, emphasis dito sa ating uh, nodes number 1. So, we have here port 1. Then port 2 for this on uh, number 3. And then we also have port 4. And then 5. So makikita natin na sa bawat node natin may nakakonek na limang uh, port style. So dito yon. So for example, magbigay tayong emphasis kay nodes 1. May nakakonek sa kanya na port for node 2. And then port for node 3, node 4, 5, and 6. That's why nag-come up tayo dito sa ating formula. So bakit natin hindi sinasama yung isa pa? Dito is total number of node natin ay 6. Bakit naging number of port ay 5 na? Dahil hindi na natin siya bibilangin. Kasi ang binibilang natin is yung nakakonek na port sa kanya. Okay. Next is... Ikukompute na natin yung total number of port. So, for the total number of port, so, lalagyan lang natin na kung ilan yung bilang ng ating load. 
So it's n, n minus 1. So kung ang number of fourth per device natin ay 5, so imumultiply lang natin siya kung ilan yung nodes natin. So 6 yung nodes natin, therefore, our TNOP ay 30. So total number of ports natin ay 30 because 5 for, for node 1, 5 for node 2, 5 for node 3, 5 for node 4, hanggang uh, may 5 tayo, hanggang k node 6. So pag in natin siya, ang magiging total niya ay 30. So this is our formula to get the total number of ports para sa ating mesh topology. Okay, and we also need to find the total uh, number of cables natin or yung NC natin, number of cables. So for the number of cables, meron din tayong formula. It is N, N minus 1 over 2. Okay, so it's 6, 5, 2. And C is 50. So that's how tayo mag compute for, uh, to get and to determine how many ports and how many cables we have for mesh topologies. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a great day.